The Executive Secretary, National Board of Technical Education, MBT, Professor Idris Bugaji, says the AKK gas pipeline is one of the most important projects of the present, present administration. The Professor of Chemical Engineering stated this in an exclusive interview with Silverberg News 24 in Abuja. Professor Bugaji said AKK gas pipeline is a major infrastructural intervention from the federal government, and he wonders why the project had not happened for so long. President Mohamed Buhari recently launched the construction of the Ajakuta Kaduna Kano AKK pipeline. AKK gas pipeline is going to deliver gas from southern oil fields, associated and non-associated. It will deliver them up to Kano. This is this may be part of the Trans-Saharan you know, gas pipeline project. And uh, but it, at the moment it's part of the national gas pipeline plan. Now the AKK gas is going to deliver at least three power plants in Abuja, Kaduna, and Kano. That will give a total output of 3,600 megawatts, which is more than what Mambile is going to give, which is half of what the power generated transmitted by TCN is going to deliver. And we are appealing to government not to put that power on the national grid. They should put it on mini grids in those environments so that they can power industries in those localities. That's what we call embedded generation or captive power. That should be the way to go because the, the, the national, what do you call it, this national grid has a lot of problems. Another aspect of the AKK gas pipeline is it's going to generate petrochemical industries. Now, one of the major petrochemical industries that, that can be produced from, from, from gas is urea fertilizer. Nigeria has been importing urea fertilizer for too long. Our consumption of urea fertilizer has been one of the lowest in, in the whole world. We, our consumption is about 10 kilograms per hectare per annum. Bangladesh consumes 140 kilograms per hectare per annum. So that's why the productivity of our soil is very low. So by the time you are able to produce urea locally, it is going to be cheaper and it's going to help agricultural production across the country.